Welcome back guys, previously in the anime, Lloyd stuffed Grimm inside of his replica and sneaked outside to explore a dungeon for fun, and now all Grimm had to do was play like Lloyd in front of Silpha, and meanwhile, Lloyd found a girl on his way who used chi techniques for fight, and Lloyd can't reveal that he's a prince, so he made a mix and match look of illusion to hide his identity, the girl's name was Tao, and she was head over heels for Lloyd because she was hunting to find a man and wants. To make him hubby, she took Lloyd to a nearby dungeon. And Lloyd learned chi breathing techniques from Tao, but when they defeated the boss, a hidden boss appeared, a lich, but at the same time, Silpha came to Lloyd, and now Grimm is about to have a rough time, but Lloyd was in the dungeon preparing to fight off that lich, but Tao tells Lloyd not to worry and just leave, she sends Lloyd flying away from there to save his life, and their lich started his attack on Tao. Tao was confused because a low-level dungeon shouldn't have a lich as a boss. Because even A-rank adventurers could barely defeat it. So she wants to buy some time so Lloyd can make it out alive, bro was flying outside, wondering why Tao sent him out, he wanted to learn more about Chi from her, so he used his shield to stop himself on his way, he asks Grimm if he should return back or not, but Grimm was in trouble and tells to Lloyd to get back home quickly, but Tao was fighting to death with that lich. She knew she couldn't win, and their lich spoke up. He knew Tao was using Chi because he ate a few people like her, that was. Enough to make her go nuts. But lich was more surprised by Lloyd because he had saved Tao from his attack, Lloyd was a peculiar case because he learned Chi techniques from her when other people considered Chi to be low-level techniques, Lloyd learned it with enthusiasm, so she again gains confidence by believing on her Chi martial arts like Lloyd did, she cracked open the light's barrier with Chi Blast, but she reached her limit with that, it was the end of her, and Lich thinks his little finger has more power than her all. Out Chi attack, but no worries, Lloyd stepped in right on time and saved Tao from blades. He was on fire to have a bombing fight, it was written all over his face and he used Chi breathing suddenly, Lloyd started to mix his Chi and magic together while the Lich kept attacking him, he takes a deeper breath to use more air for his Chi, but the barrier was getting in his way so he shattered it, Lich thought he did it, but Lloyd just wants to get more air for himself to use chi and magic combined. He molded the two different powers into one, and after a success he attacks and cuts through. The Lich's magic blade. So for the second time he makes it thinner to extend its range and keeps up the attack with it, Lloyd was enjoying all of the moment. While Lich was getting overpowered by Lloyd slowly, Lloyd was getting his blades thinner and thinner, and Lich made a barrier yet it cuts him right through it, with it the boss was beat but the treasure they got was junky knife as a reward, but the dungeon started to break down now that the boss is gone, so Lloyd got an idea, he figured out the chest was the core of dungeon which absorbed magic from magic item of adventurer who fails, and when dungeon gets beaten, it offers a magic item to save the core to run away and collect magic power again to grow back. So Lloyd managed to get a piece of its core outside, and the dungeon shrunks into the ground for the time being, their Tao was thinking Lloyd used Chi in fight because that lich was mocking her, but Lloyd crushed her hopes because he thought it's fun, there he remembers about Grimm and took off, and Tao lost the chance to ask for his contact, then he gets back to the castle and saw Grimm was beaten like a punching bag by Silpha. Grimm obviously didn't know swordsmanship, and Silpha thought Lloyd forgot swordsmanship, so she goes hard to teach him from square one and this was the result. His pride as a demon was crushed, poor Grimm, but after he cried his heart out, Lloyd showed him that dagger, he knew it was a treasure in disguise, he cut the enchantment done by Mage Master, it was a boost powers, the enchantment was infused with mana essence, so Lloyd analyzed the properties of the essence and saw it takes three ingredients to make it, the last was made from Harmatide made from Monster Core. But their dungeon core could come in handy, then for the next two ingredients, Lloyd goes to his father and asked for a bag of silver coin. King surely loves Lloyd and he mixed the silver, then he did tough training with Silpha, Lloyd could get oil if he defeats Silpha, but still he was lost in the end, with this Lloyd lost his chance, but surprisingly, Silpha gave him the oil even though she won, because the other day she was sad that Lloyd performed so badly, but now she's happy that he's back to his full strength again, so Silpha thought Lloyd would become an excellent knight in the future. Their Lloyd slips out and now all the ingredients are mixed, but for the weapons he asked Albert for some spare weapons. 
He's a doting brother so he asked his knights to give up all of their weapons on their hand, they can't disobey so the weapons were piled up, one knight was sad because he just bought a new sword and now he has to give it up, they didn't believe they would get their weapons back because enchanting is hard, so Grimm was cheering up Lloyd and he started making the enchantments, he was on full raging mode, but one wrong move and the weapons gets broken. So they tried many times and crushed many swords in their attempt, and at the end he made a few successful cases, and told Albert that out of 120 he created 70 successful enchanted swords, he actually had 80 success, but Lloyd tried to enchant double layer and lost those 10 swords, a top grade enchanter has a 10% success rate of enchantment, and Lloyd was even beyond that. A knight didn't believe in Lloyd that he enchanted his sword, but the moment he puts his sword in his sheath, that sheath got sliced in two, Albert's sword also survived the test. And Lloyd wanted to see his mana enchanted weapons at work, so Albert thought of going for some monster hunting, and sadly, that's where the episode 3 ends, but in case you missed episode 1 or 2, I have made a playlist where you could watch it, playlist link in description, so please watch the previous episode so that you can understand the story, and if you are enjoying the anime, then like and subscribe to the channel.